Hello, Sammy. This will be some week three uh, video feedback for you, and I will begin with the uh, the discussion on ethics and copyright, um, and I'll also include feedback for two two and what was it two three. Um, but um, I look forward to seeing how your ads develop. Uh, Sammy, this is your uncompressed um, file, and I'm going to open up uh, your what looks to be a very competent silhouette of the sea turtles. Tortoise, um, and you know, I, <clears throat> yeah, wow, this looks good. This looks really good. I'm going to check the resolution too. Uh, remember that it has to be 300 dpi at um, intended size, which you know, in this case, is roughly 8 by 11. Yeah, perfect. This will work. I wouldn't scale it up too much more than that, uh, but this will definitely work. Um, it probably won't be the full length of the page, although you know, it'd be quite striking. Just to focus on this, uh, your silhouette looks very good. Um, there might be a faint green uh, sort of uh, outline, but it's hard to to know. Um, let's see. No, it looks good, but you know you can always uh, you can always edit your silhouette uh, without destroying the um, the original. And I see you have the original one here with its, in the thumbnail at least, with its background. Good. And I can turn it on or off. Also, I see that you have an adjustment layer. Good going. You know, uh, masking layers are no different than any kind of other um, non-destructive image editing. Uh, Sammy, and uh, a couple things before I proceed. First of all, I'm glad you're getting something out of the textbook. Yeah, it's really rich. It's a very useful resource to have. Uh, even years down the road, the revisions really haven't changed it much. So I'm glad you noted that. And uh, also, am I saying it right? Is it Sammy or Sami? Okay, um, this is great. This is exemplary. You have learned how to embed your images <clears throat> rather than just link to them. And it makes for a, uh, generally a larger file, but um, well, let, me, well, let me see. Well, no, I, no that's, that doesn't make sense here. And you've also uh, put the uh, vector uh, grayscale logo there. Nice. It's you know as a, as a beginning comp uh, beginning composition, this looks good. So I look forward to seeing what you did this week. And you've got the solid corporate color in the background. So you've got the three layers. You've got them labeled. Um, good job. Uh, with regard to this, and, you know, I'm sorry if I approach this in the wrong order here, but um, <clears throat> the NAFNAF -NAF ad is interesting uh, to me because it is already a parody in a way. Um, it's a fashion ad by Frank Davidovici uh, from the, I think, early 80s, and <clears throat> it's a, you know, classic of uh, fashion house advertising of that postmodern era. And it has a couple of things in common uh, with all visual arts, really, of that time. Um, you can kind of think about it as punk era. But anyway, so it has a lot of European illusions, as you note. Uh, for example, the uh, pig wearing the brandy barrel, normally seen around the necks of St. Bernard's, right? Um, looking for uh, people lost in avalanches in the Alps. So it has, you know, a lot of European uh, allusions, I guess. And the the model in the ad, um, you know, it was a professional model. But Coons argues that uh, the face of the model or, or the three-dimensional sculpture um, is that of one of his wives, um, who I think was an Italian um, uh, porn star. And you can look all that stuff up. So... Uh, there's a there's layers of meaning that Coons cleverly I think uh, added to it. Hope I think hoping to soften the the charge of um, you know um, copyright inf infringement. So anyway, there's a little bit of extra information there. Um, that that Im those images, both the ad and the s sculpture, are just full of meaning and content and uh, litigiousness, um, but it, it, that's, you know, how Coons, I guess, makes his money because <clears throat> the settlements are a small fraction of the cost of a single work of art by him. And Ferry has, you know, fared well enough, I think. Uh, he's been bruised by that experience 
and uh, he goes on to teach all of us uh, to this day.